everybody and welcome to my first video of 2013. I'm ashamed to say this is my first video of 2013 because we're almost in March already. It's, you know, it's just been a busy year. Normal excuses apply. Work's been really busy. I've been busy doing other things outside of the blog. So I'm really, really sorry that it's taken me this long to finally get the camera up and running and, and film a video. Anyway, enough excuses. Back to today's video. You may remember back last year I teamed up with Phase 8 for a video and I got to share with you some of my favourite pieces from their autumn winter collection. They got in touch with me again to ask whether I would be interested in filming an updated version, so featuring some things from their new season spring summer collection. I jumped at the opportunity because I absolutely adore Phase 8. So I've been on their site, I've selected five of my favourite pieces that they have just released this season and they very kindly lent them to me so that I could share them with you and also they've given me the opportunity to take some photographs wearing them and to show you kind of how I would style them. So I'll get started straight away. The first, and this may actually be my favourite, but I do love them all, but the first item they've lent me is this absolutely beautiful floral print maxi dress. Now this is, the, this is the classic of doing a video in widescreen is that I've not really got a very good way of getting the whole dress in on the picture but I'm sure you can get the idea of what it looks like. It's an absolutely gorgeous print and I will bring it closer so you can actually see how lovely and bright the colours are. So this is what it looks like. It's again it's a very flattering shape. Obviously it's fitted at the top and then quite loose and floaty at the bottom. If I were to wear this, I think realistically, this would be the perfect wedding guest outfit for me. Largely because I'm not a big fan of high heels and especially at a wedding where you're wearing them all day, you know, drinks reception, you'll probably stood up for quite a while. And by the end of the night, when you just want to have a great dance, normally my shoes are just, they just are left to the side and I'll either bring flip flops or some kind of alternative footwear so that I can, you know, have a proper dance on the dance floor without moaning about my feet for the entire evening. So the beauty I think of maxi dresses at weddings is that you can actually wear flats all day so there's no need to worry about footwear changing in the evening and this is just such a gorgeous print that I think it would be absolutely perfect for a wedding. However if I was just simply to wear it maybe out for drinks or just on a nice spring day so when maybe when the weather's not particularly warm but it's warm enough that you can start wearing spring and summer clothing I would likely team this with my uh, Whistles black leather jacket just to add it a bit of edge, you know, it's beautiful floral print but I just think a leather jacket in my opinion goes with everything and, and just would give this a bit of edge to this outfit and so that is how I would choose to wear that. Now next up, I, obviously I couldn't not choose this dress to feature because it's called the Helen's Heart Dress so given that my name is Helen it just felt it was meant to be. So this is it, and again, a lovely print. It's really quite flattering. It fits you in here, cinches you in at the waist, and then again, just nice fitted round the bottom. So this is what it looks like. I don't think, I mean, if I were to wear this dress, I don't know really what, I, I don't think it needs much to it. I think it's beautiful for drinks in the evening with girlfriends, or equally brilliant just for work, because it's quite smart. And I think realistically, if I were to wear this, I'd probably, at this time of year, I would probably just put my trench coat over the top of it because I think that's all it really needs. Maybe black boots, but nothing to really detract from this dress because it is really subtle but chic at the same time. So that's the Helen dress, so my namesake. And then next up we've got this, which again I think is for something that I would definitely wear quite often. Now this is the Japan bird print dress, as you can see. Now this really is my style, so beautiful detailing at the top and then a really really floaty dress at the bottom. So it works equally well over leggings or tights and it's just nice and comfortable as well as being smart. Now again for this, I don't think I would accessorise too much because the print is really nice. I think nice black tights. Um, boots for this time of year and in the summer obviously it's quite long. It, it, falls I think just around my knee so it's perfect in the summer just to wear with sandals. It's really quite warm although it is three quarter length sleeve. It is warm at this time of year so again I think I'll just probably wear this quite simply as it is and show off the nice flattering cut of the dress. 
And then moving on from dresses now, I, I really love phase 8 knitwear, especially their cardigans and their jumpers. So the last two items I've chosen to share with you are our knitwear. The first is this. Now this is the Kirsty cardigan. And again, I just really, I'm such a fan of long cardigans. Again, this is the trying to get it all on the camera. Um, but I really just love longer length cardigans, not only because for my shape, because I am quite curvy, if I'm wearing skinny jeans, they're quite flattering. If they hang slightly lower, sort of mid midway through my thighs, I find it's quite a flattering cut. And also actually, if you're wearing them with dresses, they're equally flattering because they uh, match the length of the dress. So that is probably how I would choose to wear this. Dusky pink is not a color that I own a great deal of, especially not cardigans. Most of my cardigans, I admit, are black, grey, and the occasional kind of beige. I've got one or two that are kind of bright colours, but I've got no pastel colours at all. And certainly for spring, summer, I'm hugely drawn to pastels. And this, I think, looks absolutely fabulous over a little black dress, so it just adds a bit of pop of colour. And then I've also got a gorgeous dusky pink bag that I would wear with this as well. So that is the Kirsty cardigan. And then last but by no means least, I have this, which is a fabulously deep, rich, dark blue, and this is called the Catherine Jumper. Now again, this is, this is the fun of trying to show you this on a video frame. So it's a really, really baggy jumper, as you can obviously see here are the sleeves. So really, really baggy, and I actually say, you know, over skinny jeans, me, if you're going to wear skinny jeans and you're a curvy shape like I am, then the baggier the top, the better. And this looked brilliant over, I've uh, got a pair of dark green phase 8 jeans, they are actually phase 8, and they're from their autumn winter collection, and this looked really good over the top of those jeans, and with my fluffy faux fur snood at the same time, just to keep you warm. So I was actually wearing this as my outerwear, we've... I always talk about weather in these videos, I don't know why, but I guess weather is fairly relevant to what you're wearing. Um, we have had a bit of a cold snap recently, but prior to that, it actually, even though it was January, February, it really wasn't that cold at all. So I was taking to wearing kind of ponchos and large jumpers over the top of other outfits. So just as an outerwear, really, it was a bit different to wearing a coat, having had a coat on for most of winter. And this was perfect for that with a snoo, so it keeps you warm, but also it just looks a bit different from constantly wearing a coat. So those are the five pieces that I have chosen from Phase 8's Spring Summer Collection. Obviously, there's absolutely tons more online. This is only a very small selection, so please go and have a look at their site. I'll obviously put all the links to these pieces in the information bar below. I hope everybody is well. I hope everyone had a fabulous new year and that 2013 is getting off to a great start for you all. I will speak to you all soon. Bye.